All right, so this video, I'm gonna show you kind of things that people frequently ask me how I made it. Um, one thing you should think of is that nothing should be really skinny. So nothing should be thinner than, um, or as thin like as a coin or something like that. So it should be, things should stay kind of thick. So um, skinny as it should be is, like a thin cookie, but not too, too thin. All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you is a starfish. Most things start as a kind of a little ball of clay. So take a little ball of clay, and then you're gonna squish it down. Once again, not any skinnier than um, like a thick cookie. And starfish are gonna have five points and five, well, this kind of starfish, five points and five um, spaces. So I'm gonna cut five slits. One, two, and not going to the middle. Three, four, five. And this should be pretty even, so it's kind of like a flower. To make the spaces wider, I'm going to kind of cut at not the same angle, but a little bit of a different angle down to where it meets to take out little triangles of extra model magic. So go from the slit, kind of go over to make a V shape, take out that triangle. Make a V shape, take out that triangle. You wanna make sure that all five of the spaces have this taken out. So these should be a really, like a triangular space that's missing. You can use this extra amount of magic later, so just kind of squish it in a ball. After that, you're going to pinch these to make them pointy at the end. So you can pinch, pinch, they're gonna be a little tall, but that's okay. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And that's basically how I make a starfish. You can kind of squish it down more. You would stretch it. You can trim it if the one that legs are kind of long. That's the basic way to make a starfish. The next one that people ask about a lot is this shell. Now you can use, um, I do have like tools you can use. You can honestly just use a pencil for the grooves or you can add them later for um, when we do the painting. So start with the ball, squish it down, kind of cookie, not quite cookie um, thickness, maybe a little thicker. And then you're gonna go on the edge and pinch it. So that right now is gonna look a little weird like that. But then once you have this pinched, you can pinch it the other way. So it flattens out like that. Um, you can fold it and then I kind of Pinch it so that way it's a little wider at the top. Now you can kind of mold it a little bit, but then I, you can take a pencil and kind of make lines that go down, like the grooves of the shell. You can also do this with a toothpick or something else. But here's my shell. Um, turtles. Start with a ball, squish it down a little bit. Now for the legs, to make it easy, I take a smaller or no, not the same size ball. I squish it down and I'm gonna cut this into four. So I'm actually going to go like this, cut in half and then cut those halves in half too. And I, when I cut it in half, I make these kind of like rounded triangles, which look like sea turtle legs. You can do the same thing for the head. I'm just gonna mold the head like a little ball and then kind of stick it on. Sea turtle, not very thick. Now to make the shell look like that, I, this part is going to be skinny, but that it's okay because it's gonna stick on something thicker. I'm gonna roll a ball for the shell. I'm gonna make this skinny, skinnier than I recommend. And then I'm going to put it on top. So that way it kind of overlaps the edges of the um, legs and the head kind of naturally. I can make it look like a little tail, but not too long because I don't want it to break. So there's my sea turtle. Um, for things like boats and houses, anything that has straight edges, you kind of push it down. Once again, not too skinny. 
And you can do things like divide it like this. I would just use scissors. But once you have like flat edges, you can make like a little house out of that. Think about like cutting paper, but really thick paper. Here's my little house. Um, for a boat, maybe one side is straight and the other side is curved. You can do that with scissors. Um, I wanna make a sail for this boat. Not making it too thin. Make a rolling toe ball, squish it down. Let's make a triangular sail. I could make a very skinny kind of mast in it if I, if it's attached to it, like completely flat against it. Okay, so these should stick to the paper. Um, if they start to fall off next time, we can put some glue on it. But once on the paper, it's kind of there. So think about how, if you need to overlap something, how to overlap it, make sure it's thick. Um, you can see my ocean kind of cracked a little bit, which I'm okay with, um, but it was kind of thin. Um, also, these bigger areas are in danger, not danger, but can crack if it's thin and kind of wide. Um, so you could do a more creative, like maybe, Actually, I feel like if I was gonna do the ocean again, I might do little spirals. So I might do lots of little coils and make like spirals for um, like the white part of the ocean where it curls and becomes foamy. That'd be kind of cool. So remember, you can be creative with that kind of um, a kind of building of different textures and I do I might have to be we might be able to like press some textures in there too um, so the possibilities are possibilities are endless but your goal is not not make things too skinny so this could be like my ocean and I could do waves coming from it